This example deals with the area of a sector. Quickly reviewing, let theta be the radian measure of a central angle in a circle with center O and radius R. Here is our circle. Center O, radius R, and theta is the central angle. The area here, shaded in pink, is called a sector. The area of this sector formed by angle theta is given by the formula A equals one half R squared times theta. Here's the problem that I need to solve. I need to find the area of the sector formed by a central angle of 300 degrees in a circle with a radius of 8 centimeters. I need to give the exact answer and an approximate answer rounded to two decimal places. So all I have to do in this problem is find the area of the sector, that's A, and was I given R and theta? We were told the radius was 8 centimeters and we were given a central angle of 300 degrees. And unfortunately, what a lot of students do is they plug these two numbers immediately into the formula, but that's incorrect because theta must be the radian measure of the central angle. So before I do anything else, I'm going to have to take my central angle of 300 degrees and convert it into radians. Hopefully you remember the conversion factor from degrees to radians, that 180 degrees equals pi radians. So I'm going to take my 300 degrees, I want to turn it into a fraction by dividing it by 1, and now I'm going to multiply it by another fraction. Since I have degrees in the numerator here, I need degrees in the denominator down here. So I'm going to put 180 degrees in the denominator and pi radians in the numerator. And when I do that, my degrees reduce. And I get 300 pi divided by 180, that's in radians. Now, can I simplify this? Yes, both of these numbers divide by 10. 10 goes into 180 18 times. 10 goes into 330 times. Does it reduce any more? Yeah, both divide by 6. 6 goes into 18 3 times. 6 goes into 35 times. So my angle is 5 pi divided by 3 radians. So now I have theta in radians and I know my radius. I can find the area of the sector. So it's just 1 half times r squared. Well, r was 8, so it's 8 squared. Since half was a fraction, I'm going to turn 8 squared into a fraction by dividing it by 1, multiplied by my angle of 5 pi divided by 3. So all we have to do is simplify this. 8 squared is 64, so I have 64 times 5 pi, all divided by 2 times 3. Does anything simplify here? Yes, 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 divides into 64 32 times. Does anything else reduce? No. So I'm going to get 32 times 5 is 160 pi divided by 1 times 3 is 3. So that is the area of the sector. And what are my units? They're going to be square units. And what units are those? Centimeters. So it's going to be centimeters squared. So the area of the sector A equals 160 pi divided by 3 square centimeters. Now that is the exact answer. But we were also asked to find the approximate answer rounded to two decimal places. So here is my calculator. I need to put this expression into it, so it's 160 times pi, 
I need the accurate version of pi that's in blue. So it's second carat, then divided by three. Hit enter. I need to round it to two decimal places. That's this five. The one is not going to round that up. So my answer is 167.5. Five square centimeters. And that is the approximate solution to this problem.